Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on and off the visibility of components using Python API. To get started, let's add a robot to the 3D world. I'll go to the eCatalog panel, expand models by type, expand robots, scroll down, click Visual Components. I'll now add a generic articulated robot to the 3D world. I'll now go to the Modeling tab. If you do not have access to Modeling tab, you can create an add-on to complete this tutorial. I'll now click the Behaviors drop-down menu here, and then click Python script to add that behavior and open its editor. I will make the editor smaller, move it over here, get a better view of the robot. We do not need these lines of code in the script, so I will delete them. Let's now get the component of our script. All right, comp equals get component. By default, every component has a visible property, and this allows you to show or hide the component in the 3D world. Right now, visible is set to true, which is why we can see the robot. If we want to hide the robot, we can set visible to false. Since we are changing the appearance of the robot in the 3D world, we have to render that. In the script, I'll write app equals get application. I will then call the render method with the application object. Compile the code. And now the robot, whoop, whoop, it's gone. But if we want to see the robot, we'll just set its visible property to true and compile the code. And there you go, we can now see it. You do have the option of showing or hiding specific nodes in a component, and I'll show you how to do that now. In the component graph panel, I will clear the behaviors checkbox, but expand everything to show the node structure of the component. We have the root node, a node for each axis in the robot, as well as its mount plate. And in our code, we're working with the component object, which is also the root node. Now, every node in a component has a visible property and a node visible property. And what is the difference between these two? The visible property, which you can see here, this affects the node and all of its child nodes. So when I set the root node visible property to false and compile the code, you can see it hides the entire component. And you can verify that in the component graph panel. You can see here's the root node. It affects axis one and all the way down to mount plate node. Let's now set visible to true. And for our case, we just want to hide the root node. So now, instead of using visible, we'll use the node visible property and set it to false. Compile the code. And this time, it made the root node of the component invisible, but I can still see the rest of the robot. So now it's floating around in space. <laughs> so visible will affect the node and its child nodes. Node visible will affect just the node. Let's make the root node visible again. So I'll set its value to true. And let's see how this works with a different node in the robot. I will double click this part of the robot here to select its node. We can see it indicated by the selection. And the component graph panel, that is access to in the robot. So in our script, let's delete these lines of code. Let's now find access to. All right, access to equals comp dot find node. This allows you to find a node by name. We're looking for access space two. Let's see what happens when we write access to dot visible equals false. Compile the code. And not only did it hide access to in the robot, it hid all of the child nodes of that access to, which is why we can't see the robot's arm anymore, but we can still see the bottom. Let's now fix this by setting the visible property to true. And now we can see the robot's arm, but we want to hide access to, so I'm going to use the node visible property and set it to false. Compile the code. And that's what happens. So this part of the robot is invisible, but the rest of the robot arm here, I can still see it. Let's now fix this and turn the visibility of Axis 2 back on. Now before in the video, I want to give you one case where you may want to hide a component or specific nodes in a component while you're running a simulation. And it's very easy to do that. Let's get rid of this line of code here. And we don't need to render anything. But we do need the application object and the access to node. 
And from the application object, we can get the simulation. So I'll write sim equals app.simulation. I can now use a method, I'm sorry, an event called on start or stop. This will be called every time you run the simulation or stop it. And when we stop or start the simulation, let's call a function called show access to. And let's now define show access to. The on start or stop will pass two arguments to our function. It will be the simulation object and a value indicating whether or not the simulation is running or it's stopped. If it's running, the value will be true. If it's stopped, the value will be false. So if is running, if the value is true, we want to hide access to in the robot. I'll write access to dot node visible oh -ho, equals false. Otherwise, if we stop the simulation, we want to see access to, so I'll write access to dot node visible equals true. Compile the code. And now if I run the simulation, wow will we will. You can see access two in the robot is hidden. And if I stop the simulation, access two is now visible. Start it again. It's invisible. Stop it. You can see it. If I reset the simulation, this does stop the simulation, which is why we can still see access to here in the robot. Okay, this completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.